When you're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, you're always going to be in the limelight. You're always going to be under scrutiny. And you're always going to get criticism for nearly everything you do, especially when you've gotten paid the way Dak Prescott has, yet hasn't actually delivered. Coming off a very pathetic season, leading the league in interceptions despite only playing 12 games, Dak Prescott has a lot to prove to people this year and a lot to prove to Jerry Jones if they want to move forward with him, to be quite honest with you. But Dak Prescott is now under fire for what he decided to do this offseason, which had nothing to do with the football field and everything to do with the tattoo. Now, certainly people getting tattoos typically isn't very big news, but it kind of is when you're put under sedation for nearly half a day to get a tattoo. And that's what Dak Prescott is coming out and talking about now. But that's what Dak Prescott is talking about right now. Take a look at this story. Cowboys Dak Prescott reveals he was sedated for 11 hours while getting a leg tattoo. Now, that might be commonplace for, I don't know, athletes or celebrities to afford to like do all this shit and get sedated so you don't have to sit there while you get a tattoo. That's not normal for the vast majority of people. People get, you know, eight, six-hour tattoos. Maybe they do it in sessions, whatever. But no, Dak Prescott decided, hey, just knock me out. I'll lay here unconscious under medical sedation for 12 hours while you give me this tattoo. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott revealed this week that he was sedated for 11 hours while receiving a tattoo during the spring. Speaking of Clarence Hill of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, Prescott said he was inked by Andres Ortega of the Arizona Tattoo Shop under Link and joined a recent trend of celebrities and star athletes getting tattoos while under sedation. Well, to nobody's surprise, Dak Prescott is getting absolutely slammed by some of the fan base for this. Cowboys Dak Prescott disappoints fans by choosing 11-hour sedation for tattoo session. Quote, beta male behavior. <laughs> you knew this was coming, no doubt about it. Can't even stay awake during a tattoo sesh? Beta male behavior. Bro got sedated for a tat soft. Also, as someone that works in an operating room, mark my words on this, when you're positioned for hours of surgery, great care is taken and position patting your body is to protect very specific nerves. No way in hell this is being done properly by tattoo artists. Immediately regret drafting as my quarterback. Last time I got tattooed for eight hours, I just drank three beers. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. Sedation for a tattoo, is that normal for a large piece? Being sedated for Daffy Duck is crazy. And yes, uh, a lot of things that are apparently very important to him in this, including like uh, a Michael Jordan Jumpman logo, a Black Mamba symbol, and of course, Daffy Duck doing Dak Prescott's signature touchdown celebration. I'm not going to question why these things are important to him. Obviously, this is a massive piece, covers the entire leg. Like, I understand it probably is easier just to get sedated and, you know, let them go at it instead of having to do it in sessions. But holy shit, Dak, to reveal that to the world, uh, of course, there's going to be people. <laughs> there's going to be people that come out and give you shit because this is Dak Prescott. This is the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. And to most normal people, it seems wild to get sedated for nearly half the day all for a tattoo. And let me know, would you, if you had all the money in the world, would you sit there and get sedated for 11 hours, go under, medically, you know, medically put under sedation, all this stuff, or would you just sit there and deal with it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.